it's important to hear updated information about myeloid proliferative disorders and CML because these are now very treatable and manageable conditions. People live uh, long periods of time, may lead normal lives, so management is an active and ongoing issue. There's a lot of new data regarding the details of monitoring and uh, some of the nuances of therapy. And of course, there are numerous options. So there are some promising areas. Um, I think many of the questions in CML seem to be settled, but I think we need uh, a lot more exposure and knowledge about some of the subtle toxicities we've seen. So as active research is ongoing in how to manage the side effects of TKI therapy, I think we'll really better understand how to deploy them and use them best. And in myeloid proliferative diseases, I think we're really seeing evolution in therapy just beyond our first approved drug, or ruxolitinib. Um, and there's some exciting combinations and other studies in the works that might give us um, yet better response, more comprehensive response, and really help us get to the kind of responses we'd like to see in that disease.